that out. Before uh, John asked me about the uh, designations. So Dory will be out, Borders will be out, and uh, Tier Tart was, um, the suspension was upheld. Uh, Jim? I I guess just following up on Adoria, I mean, at least good to get him started in a potential return to get him on the practice field, to at least get the week going. Out for the game, Jim. Let's let's focus today on the, the Jacksonville Jaguars and, and the players that are going to be traveling down there to to try to help us get our ninth game, ninth win. How's Quisenberry been? I, I know the more he plays, the more he'll settle in. But as far as communication goes, did you see improvement from one game to the next for him and should he just can keep continuing to get better yeah i mean i think that uh, hopefully man but understand that he has been a guy that has always been dialed in to all the calls i mean you watch him in practice and he stands back there and he gets the call and he goes through what his job is and just takes a lot of mental reps and has done that uh, whether he was on the active roster or the practice squad um, just believing that he um you know would would get his opportunity and you know, only story I could share about Quiz is just earlier in the year, we, we, we elevated him from the practice squad for a game. And um, then he went back down and then he practiced and, you know, he came up to me and he fully intended in his mind to, to be uh, elevated, you know, that next week. And, you know, that wasn't going to be the case. But the point is that he had focused and he was so ready to go that it, it didn't even dawn on him, um, you know, that he wasn't going to be because he had prepared – uh, to be ready to play in a football game. And I think that that's just a, a great attitude and a great approach. Uh, John Glenn. Yeah, Mike, uh, I had one of the first on, uh, on, on Quisenberry. Um, you know, obviously a lot of attention paid to his, his comeback from, from cancer there, but how impressive is it too that, I mean, this is a guy that just really played so very few snaps, you know, through the years and all of a sudden he has basically stepped into a, you know, starting left tackle role against some of the best pass rushers and, and you know, appears to at least have held his own. I mean, I think it's just a testament to his character, his upbringing, his, his belief and his faith in himself. Uh, would have been real easy to, uh, to, to probably leave football behind. Um, but I think that that's, that's his strength is to always have a belief in himself and to keep working, uh, find another opportunity. Um, and, and he's been you know, nothing but a valuable teammate uh, for us and now given his opportunity to go in there and play and try to help us. And one more question. Um, Christian Fulton, do you guys plan to activate him uh, in, in time to play for this Sunday? Well, I don't think that that's going to be, uh, uh, that, that that won't happen today. You can still do it tomorrow, right? And he could play Sunday, is that? Yeah, that, that would, that's not going to happen today. Uh, Terry? Uh, Mike, can you talk a little bit about the, how Tuzar Skipper and Wyatt Ray have played? I know they've both been on the practice squad all year, but both of them have come up and gotten limited work uh, in some games this year. And uh, how have they done as part of that deep, uh, outside linebacker rotation? Um, you know, I mean, I think, you know, Skip's, had some real physical snaps last week in, in the run game when, when they when they ran it. You know, I think that they're just continuing to build, uh, you know, an understanding of, of our defense and, you know, why it, I think was up for Chicago and, and, and played in some snaps there. So, you know, I think they continue you know, to improve. And, and again, it's hard at this point in the season uh, with the limited amount of you know, full speed reps that we get. But, you know, we'll keep working, you know, those guys in there, especially Skip. Um, you know, see where he's at, you know, on Sunday. Uh, Buck. Hey, Coach. You uh, talked to us a little bit about on Wednesday about Darrington Evans trying to carve out a role on special teams to be able to help you guys as a part of the active roster on game day. How's he kind of done with uh, with the special teams work now that you've uh, that you've had him out there at practice? Yeah, I mean, he's working. He's he's doing some things. He's working as a returner and. You know, it, I think it's it's new to some of these guys. I think you look at the the volume of running backs that Jacksonville has that that make major contributions um, on on their special teams units, and um, you know, I think we just have to continue to keep working them. And 
You know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's hard to say, hey, man, go down there and cover kickoff and, and be comfortable doing that when, when we don't even have a chance to, to really cover full speed in practice or go down there with any sort of kind of contact. And so, you know, I think that that's one drawback of, the, of not having the, the preseason is getting some of these guys full speed special teams work that normally wouldn't um, have had play, uh, played special teams. So, you know, we'll keep working them in there and keep finding roles for them and, and see how that goes. And without Tart available to you on Sunday, how uh, how has Laurel Murchison looked over the past couple of weeks since he kind of uh, was dealing with some injury stuff? And, and what kind of growth have you seen from him as a player? I mean, I think he's a great teammate. He's, he's conscientious. He's... He's played for us a little bit. Then we kind of went with a different rotation. Um, and, and it looks like he'll get an opportunity to go out there and, and, and see where he's at on Sunday. And John Gladden. Yeah, Mike, uh, wondering if you've just uh, had Brooks Reed around long enough to, to get any impressions uh, on him. And, and, you know, is he a guy that, that could see time uh, later? Potentially. Any evaluation of him, uh, in, you know, over the past couple of weeks? Or? You know, John, I think we all have to understand where we're at, at this point in the season. And we haven't been in sh shoulder pads in, you know, I don't know how long. So mm -hmm. and we're, we're continuing to, to, to evaluate everybody here. And um, I know Brooks is studying and, and learning, learning what we're asking him to do. And... Uh, you know, if we if we need him, I know he'll be ready to go. Thanks, uh, Jim. Mike, I kind of I know you're working with a smaller sample size with Glennon, but but how are they different with him at quarterback compared to uh, to maybe how they looked before? Yeah, you know, still think they're trying to run a football. Um, he's he's developing a relationship with with those receivers who are very good. Um, Colin Johnson has has emerged. Um, as, as somebody we didn't see a whole lot of the first time around. Uh, two really good rookie receivers, not to mention uh, Sharp, Conley, Cole. Um, they probably had four four conversions on third down to Eifert last week. So you know, that's something that that relationship was something we're certainly going to have to be mindful of. All right, that's right. I like it. Thanks. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.